Central Oregon's local alert weather with meteorologist Katie Suniga. Quite a different view on those travel condition cameras than when we were looking at them together yesterday. Government camp still seems to be the clearest, but you definitely can see all of the snow on the road on the other three travel condition cameras there with ODOT. Keep that in mind as more snow is coming in tonight. We are not done with this round yet. Oh, look at this gorgeous shot off the Outback lift line. I know some of you give me a hard time for how much I love the snow, but just look how beautiful this is. Not only is it beautiful, for just the view, but it's also beautiful for our water. We need this and we need it to stick around and keep coming for the next, well, next year would be great. But that's take what we can get. Here's what's coming in with that trough we were watching yesterday. So everything's coming up from the south and that's where we're seeing that come through the region. Not expecting to see a large accumulation within central Oregon, but again, we can use all that we can get. As far as our temperatures go, we talked about today being a colder day than yesterday. Look at this. We are in the mid 30s here and that is much colder than we were yesterday. We had a few of us in the 40s. It's this. This is the culprit that's bringing the snow and keeping us cold. You can see from today into tomorrow it does shift but we keep that cold air especially when we're on the backside as that air is being brought down. As we get into Thursday we get to that transition day and now we're starting to see some warmer air and the front side of this ridge right here. This should be when we're fully in that pattern that takes us to some drier days just not warmer. Here's where we're at with our snow levels. They're continuing to drop in tonight pretty much on average staying right around a thousand feet until we get into tomorrow night. But just like we talked about yesterday, just because our snow levels are low enough tomorrow morning into tomorrow night does not mean we are going to get the snow. And that has quite a bit to do with what you see here on the future track. By seven o'clock, not expecting to see too much as we go through the evening. You see a little snow off to our southeast and then by tomorrow morning, we are pretty clear not only of the snow, but of clouds in the sky. And that's what we take with us. As far as accumulation goes, you can see not much more is expected for us, not even seeing an inch for those of us that could have some snow. With our rainfall records or the snow that you convert into water and add it to this here, we're still right where we were yesterday. There was not enough to record in the Redmond area to add to anything, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. We did great for this time of year for this month. Here are your current temperatures from the low 30s to the upper 30s. Again, a cold week all week. We are not getting anywhere near average. We're actually seeing at least 10 degrees below average with our temperatures tonight being colder than they were last night. Here we are, maybe even single digits to teens and low 20s. Tomorrow, another cold day for us, well below average. This is about 10 degrees below with clear skies. Even though we have the sun, not going to be that much warmer. We keep those 40 degrees temperatures not only through the weekend but all the way through the start of next week.